living with Parkinson's, the most difficult thing is being out in the public eye for me because I'm very aware of the fact that I walk like a soldier, stiff, and it's difficult to hide that. Well, I was diagnosed and got very depressed and couldn't believe I was such a fit person, used to run miles a day and lived a very healthy, active lifestyle. At 40, I was shocked. I believed it was an old person's disease. With the help of UK and their research program, I've improved a lot and my life is totally different today. 18 years after my diagnosis. At the Neuro Restoration Center here, we are involved in a number of research projects from a basic science, translational, and a clinical uh, trial perspective. And one of our big missions is trying to find a disease-modifying therapy for Parkinson's disease. Day in and day out, I see commonly people with Parkinson's disease. Unfortunately, we do not have disease-modifying therapies for Parkinson's. Our main focus of management is improvement of quality of life by symptomatic management, at the same time providing emotional support to the people with Parkinson's disease and their caregivers. Predominant research in Parkinson's disease here at University of Kentucky from medication standpoint revolves around dopaminergic treatment. But at the same time, we here at University of Kentucky are doing a possible disease-modifying treatment, which is called DBS Plus treatment. Deep brain stimulation is a surgical procedure where we implant electrodes into the brain. Uh, depending on the diagnosis will depend on the target. Also, symptoms for Parkinson's disease really will help to determine the target. There's a lead extension that goes along the neck, connecting the intracranial leads to the pulse generator that is in the chest. This delivers electrical stimulation to the fibers, to the cells in that area of the brain to help with motor symptoms for Parkinson's disease. DBS Plus or Deep Brain Simulation Plus is performed in patients that are undergoing deep brain simulation but are also having a portion of their sural nerve removed from their ankle and placed into areas of the brain, uh, the substantia nigra and the NBM, depending on the, the study protocol to help with Parkinson's disease. This isn't just confined to Parkinson's disease. We've had some opportunities to look at uh, other neurological and conditions, and it may be possible that, that anything that requires having these uh, factors that, that can help cells survive may be helpful in other neurological conditions. Uh, and, and what we think might be possible may also be being able to do this not just at our location but also to expand it worldwide. Research facilities here at UK uh, are just uh, top level. Uh, we have everything that goes from being able to do single cell type of studies all the way to clinical trials. Uh, we actually have one of the only facilities uh, in the United States uh, universities that can do uh, good laboratory practice so that enables our ability to to have enabling studies uh, to the FDA, uh, so we, we can cover um, animal studies as well as uh, clinical trial studies. The future of DBS Plus is very exciting because up to now we've done really um, non-randomized controlled studies and we're able, we're getting ready to be able to do that phase where we can do the, the randomized controlled studies and actually uh, be able to con compare controlled subjects to implanted uh, subjects to get uh, more significant data from, from those participants. The other thing we really would like to do is uh, expand into different targets and then as well as 
also see this expanded to multiple centers across the country. Parkinson's patients don't have a lot of time, but if we think and we believe we are part of the big plan and we are part of the research here at UK or research somewhere else, it's very important that we engage and it also bides us time and when we have time we have hope, hope for a future generation. My hope and our hope is to provide hope to the patients and their caregivers. If we happen to discover a disease modifying treatment for Parkinson's disease I think it will be a game changer. We're in a stage right now where we've shown safety, we've shown feasibility, we're seeing some clinical changes. We need to be able to continue these studies to be able to show definitively whether or not the cell therapy actually works. And in order to do that, we need to do controlled, multi-center clinical trials. So I would like to be able to take it to that next step and if successful, translate it into a clinical therapy. Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now, an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.